It's just been busy. Life has been life and girl. Hey guys, Tab here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by to hang out with me on today. First off, I do apologize for the glare from the blinds, so I kind of had to step to the side a little bit um, to film this in front of my Christmas tree, you guys. But I am here because it is Saturday, December 2nd, and I have not done one thing to my tree. I supposed to have had this video up on yesterday, December 1st, to kick off Vlogmas. But due to a busy work week, I was unable to get this done, but I will have my tree up by this weekend, either today or tomorrow. And I may have to break my videos up. This first one today will be with me putting the lights on the tree, um, which is, I went ahead and purchased some more this morning from Hobby Lobby. And also just showing you some of the things that I purchased for the tree and I think maybe for table decor as well. I do have a short that is up on my um, chair decor for my kitchen table. I went ahead and changed it. I did a short, um, I think it was like four ways of using garland on um, a chair, but I was playing around in here this morning and I decided to pin together two of my poinsettias, which is my blush rose gold and the white. And I put it on the chair and I think I like that better. And plus it matches the decor that I'm going to be putting on the tree. So guys, I do apologize if you were waiting on a video on yesterday. Um, it's just been busy. Life has been life and girl, you know? So, but like I said, probably two videos. And so thank you guys for being patient and let's get into the first part of this video. So I'm bringing my camera down um, so that way you can see this box right here, you guys. Um, I did not want to purchase another Christmas tree. I really did want to purchase the nine feet, but I decided to just use the seven and a half feet that I already have from um, Hobby Lobby and to extend the height, I went ahead and added it to this box. It has been sitting on this box for probably about two weeks now. I wanted to try it out to see if it was sturdy enough to hold this tree and so far so good. Um, and I think I'm gonna let it stay this way, but we'll see once I get all of the decor on it to see what it's looking like. But yeah, this is something that I'm trying to um, Make it a little taller, you guys. Child, I didn't even realize that the wire on these lights was white. I didn't realize that when I was grabbing them at Hobby Lobby. And so, but I'm still gonna go ahead and use them. We're gonna just work with what we have. Business. 
So let's get started putting these on the tree. And the lights don't quite go all the way up to the top. Um, I think we're good there. I may or may not get a couple of more boxes just to fill in those areas that um, look like it has gaps in it. And here's the other Christmas tree over here on this side. And like I said, I'm thinking about getting another one to go on the other side and just have the one in the middle fully decorated and then the two with lights only on the side. I'll just have to wait and see. And if that doesn't work out, I'll just put one um, in my daughter, in both of my daughter's rooms each, so. But yeah, y'all, that is what it's looking like. I'm gonna cut the light off so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. And there is still some glare from the uh, blinds. So, but that's what it's looking like so far. So I am going to get into some of the things that I purchased to go on the Christmas tree. And I'm gonna start off with these three different poinsettias as far as the colors that I chose. And again, my colors are blush rose gold, ivory, and silver to tone down some of this um, olive green behind me here. <laughs> so the first one is the shimmery blush rose gold poinsettia. And all of the things that I'm showing you guys are 50% off currently, y'all. So I have that one, and then I have it also in the off-white, and it's trimmed in gold. And then I have the smaller silver ones. And I just thought all of these colors were gorgeous. So I hope that, you know, all of them look right once I start to place them on the tree. Now we are going to get into the ornaments. This first ornament that I'm about to show you guys, I think it's trending on TikTok. It is the suede velvet type material um, ornament. And I did manage to find these at Hobby Lobby in rose gold. And this is what they look like, you guys. Those are gorgeous. They are larger than your normal ornament. And I will take them out so you guys can take a look and see exactly what it looks like. And this is what... It looks like isn't that pretty so i was so excited when i saw these i didn't think i would find them in rose gold i really wasn't looking for them but when i ran across them i knew i had to pick up some to go on the tree so these are the only four that i purchased the next ornaments that i'm going to show you guys is the shimmery rose gold and these are in large as well and i thought these were absolutely gorgeous and this is the only one that I picked up. These are just the four that I have here. So this is what they look like. And
Y'all, that is so pretty. I hope that you guys can see that, but that is so, so pretty. Before I continue on with the ornaments, let me just show you guys the star that I found at Hobby Lobby today. And this is what the star looks like. And it does match these ornaments here. This is a larger size. I did end up purchasing a um, star, but it's actually a snowflake. And I thought it would kind of, um, once I got home and looked at everything that I had, I thought that it would clash. But when I saw this one at Hobby Lobby, I knew I had to have this to go at the top of my tree. So it's the sparkly, you could tell, girly girl, but it's so gorgeous. I really, really do love this. The next ornaments that I have, I got these in winter white, winter white, and they are the sparkly ones as well. And this is the only set of these that I got. And then I have these in silver, and this is like the satin type ornament. And then more blush rose gold. And these, um, they are glittery as well. And that's what I was going for, more of the glitter. I just really needed something that would tone down this olive green because it's so dark. So I got more blush than any of the other colors. So I'm hoping that everything comes together really, really nicely. So if you're new to my channel, I do do weddings on the side outside of my nine to five. And I do table linen, chair covers, sashes, and napkins for weddings and events. And so um, a year or two ago, I did the sashes on the back of the chairs as a rose. And so I got the idea that I would take some of those sashes and just place them throughout the tree. And this is what they look like. I'm going to try to get my fingers out of the way so you can see. But as you can see, it is folded um, or tied as a rose. So I'll be placing these throughout the tree. This next ornament that I'm about to show comes in a set of four. It does not match um, any of the colors that I chose, but I thought that it would probably be cute to go on the tree. And it is these um, white ornaments that looks like snow. So I thought those were pretty. And I'm not sure if you can tell here on camera, but it does have like a little shimmer to it. So I thought these were really nice. And oh my goodness, y'all, this was the only set, the last set that they had of these extra large balls. And I wish I could have um, gotten there in time to get at least two more sets of these, but it comes as a set of three. And um, they are the non-breakable or shadowproof um, ornaments. I think they all are shadowproof, as a matter of fact. But I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. Let me turn it this way so you guys can get a better look at it. Are those not adorable? But um, this is the only set, so I had to go ahead and get them because I was like, well, if I wait and come back another day and get these, they are going to be gone. <laughs> so I wish I could have gotten them in white and also silver, but I just went ahead and snagged them up. So. So just a couple of more things that I wanted to show you guys that I purchased. Now, I wasn't planning on buying any new stockings, but when I came across this one in Hobby Lobby, I thought it was different. And I thought that it would be so pretty above the fireplace or on the fireplace. And it's the shimmery gold. Doesn't have anything on it. It's just plain, but just the stocking itself, you know, with the glitter and all I thought was it was just beautiful. So I only purchased one because I wanted to bring it home to see exactly what it'll look like. So I plan to do some garland um, on the at the top of the fireplace and then just hang four of these on. So I do have to go back and get the other three. And I'm hoping and praying that they do still have some in stock when I go back to get them. And then also the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this little wreath. And 
if you can see, I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but it does have the silver glitter and also it has like the fake snow on it. But I wanted to do something different on my kitchen table. I wanted to take these wreaths and just create like a um, table runner with nothing but wreaths. And I have this, now this was a candle that I burned down, but this porcelain frosted looking um, packaging that it came in, I held on to these. I think I have maybe about three. And um, so I plan to maybe put these on the inside of the wreaths like this, or um, I may just take a clear saucer that I have here and just set it on top. And I folded this blush rose gold napkin um, as a Christmas tree and I just made a little um, silver bow to go at the top. I'm not sure exactly if what I plan to do, but that's what I wanted to do is just take these wreaths and just make a table runner in the center of my table all the way down. So we'll see. We'll see. It'll all come together though. And I will share that with you guys. And I think that is pretty much it that I purchased for my Christmas tree and for my kitchen table. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. As I said in the beginning, guys, that this will be a two-part um, video. One with me just putting the lights on and just sharing with you guys the things that I purchased. And then the second part of the video is going to be with me actually decorating the tree. And so both of those videos will be up this weekend. And so on your way out, if you don't mind, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe um, button. Go ahead and hit the post notification bell so that way you will be notified on my next upload. And also just drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know um, what do you think about the things that um, I have purchased? What do you think about the chair decor? And I'll pop up a picture um, either here or here and let you see um, what um, idea I came up with for that. And um, I pray that you guys have an amazing night. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.